If you're an avid ATVer, you probably know what a track kit is, or you own one yourself. This week I'm going to show you a trifecta of maintenance tips to help you get the best performance and the most life out of your track kit at ATV or side by side. In life, maintenance is always the last thing we tend to think about when we're having fun, and the first thing to regret not doing when something breaks and our good times stop rolling. This is a Camoplast 4S ATV track, and it's designed to be used on an ATV four seasons of the year. It'll take you places tires don't have a hope of getting you. But with that in mind, remember that if it's too extreme for a tire, it's probably pretty hard on your tracks. A track is bigger than a tire. I know I'm a genius, but what I mean is that because it's larger and heavier objects strapped to your ATV, it has more leverage to potentially damage or prematurely wear out parts on your ride. This is why maintaining not just your track kit, but your ATV is so important. The first thing to keep maintained is your track tension, because if your track gets too loose, it'll either derail or worse, suck in objects from the trail and get them trapped between the idler wheels and the track, potentially causing damage. Your track kit manual will show you the proper tension for both the front and rear tracks of your kit. You are required to check your tension for this Camoplast 4S kit after the initial three hours of use, and then again after every 20 hours of use. The track tensioning procedure in the manual is pretty wordy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. The first thing you'll need is a long piece of wood or metal, a belt tension tester, and a good old ruler. On the top side of the track, take your wood or metal stick and hold it in the center of the big idler wheels. Push down against the track beside the stick and press till you reach the required poundage of pressure. At this point, continue to hold the pressure and measure the distance between the bottom of the stick and the top of the track. Next, we're gonna need our static measurement. So without putting any pressure on the track, measure the distance between the top of the track and the bottom of the bar. And finally, deduct the static measurement from the tension measurement and you will have your deflection at the required poundage the manufacturer requires. From here, you can adjust the tension and then re-measure to attain the optimum deflection at the required tension. If you're reinstalling your tracks for winter use, checking your idler wheels, your main drive sprocket, and the track lugs on the track is something you absolutely can't overlook. Here's why. If your idler wheels have sat over the summer months without use, they may have seized up and if not replaced, can wear out your tracks and other components much quicker. Likewise, if your main drive sprocket or any of the rubber drive lugs on the track have been damaged, this can cause further damage in a real hurry and cost you lots more in the long run. The final area of maintenance is the most important, track alignment and the lubricating and greasing of the components that steer your ATV. Proper track alignment is when the handlebars are in the center position and both tracks are pointing straight forwards. While this doesn't seem like rocket science, the reality is that an inch of toe-in on one side of your tracks could result in excess wear and tear on your ATV's steering and suspension components and ultimately cause a failure of integral parts over time. This is again where you should reference your track kit owner's manual, as each different kit will have its own requirements and specifications. Now the second half of this tip is especially important for those of you using power steering equipped ATVs and side-by-sides. Because your track kit has greater leverage over your ATV's components, your power steering equipped ATV can magnify unwanted stress on components that aren't in spec or alignment. Therefore, before and after you install your tracks and at each scheduled track tension maintenance time, you need to inspect your tie rod ends for excess wear by lifting the front of the ATV off the ground and checking for play with the handlebars. Secondly, greasing all steering pivots, A-arm bushings, and greasable parts will ensure that you get the most mileage out of your ATV's serviceable components. I always say, a little time in the shop goes a long way out on the trail, and this couldn't be more true than when it comes to routine track kit maintenance. So take the time, follow our advice, and enjoy the best performance possible out of your track kit at ATV or side-by-side.